Welcome, uh, and thank you for getting up uh, early on Monday morning. Um, my name is Holger Becker. As I said, I've been doing micro microfabrication, microrigs, for almost 20 years now. And the idea of this talk, uh, this course, basically is to walk you through uh, some of the technology, but also through the specific um, commercialization aspects of microrix for diagnostics, because what we have seen in recent years is really that the commercialization after basically 20 years of academic work now is starting to get in, in full swing. And uh, I would like you to basically get an understanding of, on the one hand side, the, the engineering aspects of it, but on the other hand also uh, the more strategic reasons behind that. And for this reason, I've also, compared to your notes, shuffled around the slides a little bit, put more of the sort of strategic development examples to the front and the, the purely engineering stuff more to the back. So uh, <clears throat> we only have three hours this morning, and I have a, a fair amount of slides. Normally, this course runs a little bit longer. So I thought I might, you, you might probably be more interested in the sort of how uh, do we actually develop something instead of how do we actually manufacture things. Um, as Christina mentioned, if there's anything you would like to know more in depth or if I might not uh, have uh, explained something clearly enough, just raise your hands, interrupt me, ask any questions you would like. So um, <clears throat> as I said, this is uh, sort of the original way how your notes are organized, but as I said, I've put uh, some the, the case study and the commercialization stuff a little bit more to the front. Um, as said, so as the basic motivation is now, we really see that uh, the commercialization is, is now really getting into full swing, and many of the early promises which were made by the academics 20 years back are now sort of coming to, to fruition. Um, <clears throat> this basically sums up the last 20 years. It has certainly not been a very easy field to be in on the commercial side, uh, but we see that now really the commercialization is progressing. Um, one of the reasons behind it is indeed a more technical or engineering nature. Um, people have, um, on the commercial side, uh, started to really use high volume manufacturing methods suitable for, for disposables. You will see later on, in the early days, much of microwave devices were made with methods basically borrowed from the semiconductor industry. Um, but that has certain limitations, especially in terms of functionality and cost. And only in the last couple of years, people have been switching towards using engineering polymers, and that allowed to really make devices at a reasonable cost. Um, the second point, and that's also an indication that the field in itself is maturing in the sense that you can nowadays make really complex devices. You can really now make a high degree of functional integration on a chip. Um, this this microx field has always been sort of dubbed lap on a chip, but if you have been working on that, for many, many years, you were very often ridiculed and say, yeah, well, you, you, you claim you make a lab on a chip, but you, what you actually have is a chip in a lab, which basically is you have a small chip and you have a very complex pumping, valving, whatever, uh, uh, instrumentation system around it. Nowadays, by being able to integrate a lot of functionality on the chip, that is slowly changing, and that's another very important driver. And just this here is an example of a very highly integrated device for a um, diagnostics of cancer markers, and you can see it has reservoirs and a variety of, of channels. It has a very high, um, if you see the, the density of the features, a very high amount, a very high feature density. It has rotating valves. It has uh, depth.